what's up YouTube, this is ZXXFi and I am back coming at you all with a Modern Warfare 3 Dragon of Moab gameplay with some nasally commentary because it's gotten a little chilly around where I live but I'm sure you guys won't mind. So we're playing some Kill Confirmed on the classic Modern Warfare 2 map Terminal which is damn awesome when you're using a sniper but with the Dragon of I didn't think I'd be able to pull it off but after using it quite a lot it isn't that bad. I still think the Arsas beats it, or any gun as a matter of fact, but I got there in the end. Anyway, I'm off to a bit of a bad start, but the recovery I get is pretty good. The Dragonov does seem seriously awful at first, but putting time and effort into it will guarantee you doing well. The only reason I started using it was because I was getting bored of assault rifles and SMGs and so I thought I'd try something a little different. It is quite hard to use considering that the scope for the Dragonov just has a bunch of numbers and no line crosshairs like other snipers making accuracy pretty bad but if you're really that bothered about it, adding an ACOG scope onto it would be the best way to go. I've added silencer to it because there's a lot of rapid fire on it and I prefer keeping myself hidden from the enemy's radar. And the gun has really bad recoil as well, I've noticed, especially for a sniper, so you have to be really steady with each shot. I recommend you use stability, although myself, I've got extended mags on with the silencer because the Dragonov does eat up a lot of ammo. And I get two kills with my secondary weapon as well, with the MP9, so it's not a complete Dragonov Moab, but mostly it is. I've got Slate of Hand as my first perk, Quick Draw as my second, and Marksman my third. I thought I might put Hardline on because I'll only need like one kill to get my first perk and with the Pro I'll pretty much be getting the first perk in my specialist all the time but I couldn't cope with the slow aiming so I kept Quick Draw on and put Hardline as my first perk in my specialist. Then for the remaining two in my specialist I got Assassin, Assassin and Extreme Conditioning. I thought maybe I should have gone with a blind eye instead of extreme conditioning, but terminal is quite building based, so I shouldn't need to worry too much about enemy kill streaks. I've been wanting to get this Moab for so long, man, and I wanted to put it up on YouTube, but it was just irritating. It was probably because I raged so much, because which kind of affected my performance. I've got like probably more losses than wins, embarrassingly, because I rage quit a lot, so that has its downside. But I was looking at the leaderboards as well the other day for Modern Warfare 3, and I've seen that people have hacked it already. I saw a guy with like a minus kill death ratio and people with like no prestige emblems and another guy with like 3 million deaths and 70, 3 million kills and 70 deaths or something crazy like that. And I just thought to myself, that really didn't take long, did it? I honestly thought Modern Warfare 3 wouldn't get hacked, but clearly I was wrong. COD 4 is like hack essential now, but that makes the game fun, but with Modern Warfare 3 it just spoils it. Everyone should just be legitimate and enjoy the game, but I guess as long as I'm not put into any stupid hacks lobbies, which hasn't happened yet, then that's fine. Exploiting games and not playing fairly just spoils it for everybody else. I've never done anything of the sort and I don't intend to either. You can be a good player without any form of exploitation and I'm not going to bore you guys so I'll just move away from that for now. So this year there's going to be Black Ops 2 and Halo 4 coming out. I'm not really a fan of Halo. I liked Halo 3 and Halo 2 and then I played Halo 3 ODST which I found absolutely terrible. It put me off Halo for a while but I am thinking of pre-ordering Halo 4 alongside Black Ops 2. I've heard a lot of things about it which I have found in interesting so there's always a chance. This year is definitely a good gaming year with what with what I've already mentioned, there's Assassin's Creed 3, Borderlands 2, Resident Evil 6, Far Cry 3, it is crazy. So many games and such a limited budget. Far Cry 3 is another I'm looking forward to. I did like Far Cry 3 and its features, and I still remember the old days of Far Cry Instinct's Predator, if anybody remembers that. It was a really good game in its time. I hope you have the ability to create your own multiplayer maps on Far Cry 3 like you were able to do in Far Cry 2 and Far Cry Instinct's Predator. That was one thing I really enjoyed. And it is going to be hard to see which games are going to do the best in ratings and popularity this year, especially since such a big title such as Call of Duty is there to compete with. There aren't many decent zombie games out at the moment as well besides Black Ops 1, so Black Ops 2 zombies will be really, really awesome. 
The Elder Scrolls Online is set to come out next year, which I cannot express how hyped I am about it. Always I've wanted the Elder Scrolls to play some sort of role in the online world after playing Oblivion and Skyrim and finally it's actually going to be happening. I stopped playing MMORPGs years ago because frankly they were all becoming the same and just boring so after watching the trailer for the Elder Scrolls Online, which I will link in the description, it'll be a really good change. Bethesda have made the most amazing games to date, so I really can't imagine how good it would be taking that experience online. I played World of Warcraft for a while, as I'm sure most people have done, and I've gotten bored of it, and tried out other similar games, and I've got bored of them too. There's not much originality, so it kind of put me off playing, so I'm hoping the Elder Scrolls Online will live up, live up to my expectations. And there's a new Fable coming out as well this year, which is unfortunately only for Kinect. And although I've got Kinect, I would have liked to play without it, which is a shame. But nevertheless, it could be interesting with the Kinect, so I'll definitely have to give it a try. Because it's a good series, Fable. I still play a lot of the Orange Box and Team Fortress 2 as well. Team Fortress 2 is an awesome online game and tons of fun. If you enjoy any of the games I play, drop me an ad on Xbox Live and I'll put my gamer tag in the description. I usually play Modern Warfare 3 alone or with Wes aka Vsena who I've mentioned previously in one of my Modern Warfare, th Modern Warfare videos and also this weekend I'm going to be doing a dual commentary with him so make sure you check that out. It'll be uploaded to his channel which I'll link in the description again. All of your opinions count so let us know what you think when it happens. I've also gotten quite a few subscribers recently because of the Skyrim Hearthfire tutorial I put up which is really good and I'm glad I helped a lot of people out with it. Now I've gotten more subscribers I'll keep uploading videos and gameplays for you guys. Whether it be COD, Skyrim, whatever you guys want, as long as you enjoy my videos that's fine with me. If you guys like my commentary or the content I do then drop a comment below so I know I'm doing it right. I think next I'll upload an LMG Moab depending on which gun I feel like using. And there's the Moab and stupidly I die like straight away after calling it in. I, I was actually screaming at my TV with joy and happiness. I was like yes I have finally done it. And then there was just this guy in front of me just doing 360s and throwing his Semtex which <laughs> nearly killed me, well, thank god for Blast Shield, I uh, survived it. And for like the first time ever, the enemy team did not one single one of them rage quit when I called in my Moab, and I'll definitely give them props to that, you know, seeing the game through to the end. My teammates are just a few tags away from winning, and I try to get as many kills as I possibly can. I think I get quite lucky here, because they're all coming up this way, and I try to get this guy, but I absolutely fail miserably, and then, oh, there's another guy, I thought I was going to kill him, but oh, my mate's dead man's hand blows him up, he did get kind of on there. It is quite surprising how easy it is to like remember the spawn points in different places in this map, because I played Modern Warfare 2 so much, so I basically know this map inside and out. If anyone's looking to get a Dragon of Moab, then Terminal is probably the best map to do it on. The others aren't too bad, but Terminal is probably the easiest. So, like, my team are like a tag or two away from winning, so I was like, screw it, we'll just do what we can. I just go up these stairs and I see this guy trying to place a Sam turret, and I just missed the kill. Well, this ends this Modern Warfare 3 commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me what you thought, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.